bit about yourself as a reader. What do you like to read? Uh, I like to read books about cats. Oh, you like cats. Okay. And what? dots. Okay. Cheetahs and bunnies. So do you like to read um, books that are informational that teach you? Yes. Okay. What else do you like about reading? Um, I like it because it teaches you how you read a lot. And because you can have lots of fun reading a lot. Do you learn a lot when you read? Yeah. Yeah, you even learn about characters, don't you? Yeah. Learn about different people. Mm -hmm. um, so what makes reading easy for you? Um, it, re it, make, it makes me read easy because um, I learned a lot about books. Okay, so you know, so you, you know a lot about books, so that makes reading easy. Mm -hmm. What about what makes reading hard for you sometimes? Um, because some words, um, I don't know, and I just need some help. So that some words are tricky. Yeah. What do you do when you have a tricky word? What are some strategies you use? Um, you can use you can ask um, somebody if you have a partner with you. Okay, what else can um, you do if you're stuck? You can figure out it and um, uh, you can um, listen to the sounds of it. So you use the sounds to help you solve. Yeah, that's a good strategy too. What else might you use? Mm -hmm. You can use, uh, you can, if somebody else should read, then you can copy one of their words that probably isn't. Do you ever use the pictures to help you? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we can use the pictures. They don't always help, but sometimes they help us, right? Yeah. And you always want to think about the story, right? Yeah. Think about the story, yeah. So we're going to read a story today called Matthew and... Do you know who that else character is? Mm. Have you read about these two people? No. It's Matthew and Emma. Okay. And what do you notice on the front cover? Um, that there's a sword and there's a... A pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think of when you see that picture and you see this person um, standing there? That because maybe he is so worried that he would get um all the way down. Yeah. So what makes you think about that? Because sometimes I think I'm gonna do that too. Yeah. You know what? You're doing. You're thinking about things that happen to you. And lots of times books are written about things that have happened to you. So you're using your background to help you. And you're absolutely right. Matthew, I believe, is afraid. Okay? Or Emma. One of the two is afraid. And we'll have to find out who. Okay? Okay. So looking at these first couple pages, what are you what are you noticing? That she that that he's um, um, saying he's like doing this. Does he look scared? No. Not really. What are you noticing about the words here? Is there anything that might help you read on that page? Look. So the word? At my... Do you notice these marks? Do you know what these marks are? Emotion. You know, they look like that, but you know what these are? These are quotation marks. These are marks that say someone's talking. And Matthew is talking here. What do you think Matthew's saying? Look at my... Or what else could he be saying? Look at... My... Do you think he could be saying, look at me? Yeah. Which one do you think it is? That me or one. my... Me. Me, yeah. So that's what Matthew's saying here. So this book has Matthew talking a lot. Okay? And then we get to this page and Emma's going to talk. Okay? And Emma, what do you think Emma's saying there? Look at me. Yeah, she's saying the same thing, isn't she? 
So Matthew and Emma are talking about the slide. Oh, now we get to this page, and what are you noticing? She is scared. She is. What do you think she might be saying if she's scared? Oh, no. You're right, and you're noticing that. She's scared. Yeah. Should we read to find out what happens? Yeah. You know what? Something that you can think about as you're reading today. You were talking about using the pictures. You were talking about how you know some words that you've learned that will help you, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can also think about what the characters might be saying because they're talking back and forth about the slide and going down on the slide, mm -hmm. okay? So think about what they might be saying to each other when you're reading. Matthew and Emma. Look All right. at me. Why? Yeah, this actually says said Matthew because it's telling us who said it. Look. So this word is said, and you're going to see that a lot. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and read that again. Look at me. Said. Said Matthew. Yeah, look at me, said Matthew. Okay, let's see what he says. he might be saying here? Going. Try it. Going. No. Try it. I am going down the slide. Could he be saying that? Yeah. Yeah. He's saying I'm going down the slide. See what you did? You thought about what he might be saying because look at there's those talking marks again, those quotation marks. That helps you. All right, let's see what he says now. Here I go. Okay, try it again. Here I What do you think? What else could he say? Here I Let's look at the word now, and let's get our mouth ready for that first sound. Here I k k oh. What might he be saying? Here I k k come. come. Here I come. Would he be saying that? Here I come? Yeah. Yeah. Here He'll I say, come. Here I come. All right, let's see what Matt, Emma says now. Look at me. <laughs> that word is said. 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 Emma. Emma. Go ahead and read it again. Look at me, said Emma. There she goes. They're looking at her. Let's see what she says. <gasps> what does she say? <laughs> now what do you think she's saying? I mm, I've got this. Think about what she might be saying though. Don't worry about forgetting the word. Think about what Emma might be saying. She says, Oh no Emma. said Emma. Now might what might what she be saying? I don't try it. I don't want to go. Uh, yeah, yeah, those, those, that might be what she's saying. We, we want the words to match, so let's try it. I, I am, am not, not going to. Oh. I am not going to d d go down, down the slide. Now you try it. Oh no. Am not going, going to down the slide. slide. Could she be saying that? Yeah. Because she's what? Um, she's scared. She's scared, isn't she? Yeah. And she's saying, I am not going down the slide. Let's see what 
Matthew says, Try it. Come down the onion. Yeah, let's point to the words. Come down. Oh, let's look at the word. On. Said. Emma. Said. Matthew. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Matthew's saying, right? Go ahead and read it again. Come down. Come on, Emma, said Matthew. You know, he could have said, come down, Emma. But down would start with what? D yeah, D so this one says, come on, Emma. Saying, come on, don't be what? Scared. Don't be scared. Let's see what happens next. Oh, what do you think Emma's saying? Look at me <laughs> said Emma yeah I uh, hmm. let's use that strategy of saying that first sound I am, I am going to oh let's use that first sound mm -hmm. I am going to do the slide. Yeah, now try that whole page again. Look at me, said Emma. <laughs> I am going down the slide. Yeah, she is. Now she's not afraid, is she? Mm. What does she say? Here I go. Oh, let's get let's make it match. Here I. What do you think she's saying? Hmm. You're getting your mouth ready, aren't you? Saying that beginning sound. Now think about what makes sense and what she might be saying. Here I. Go. You might say, here I go, but she's saying, here I come. come. Yeah, here I come. Here I yeah, come. she's just saying it a little differently than we do, mm -hmm. right? <sighs> Finally, she wasn't what? Scared. She wasn't scared anymore. What do you think made her not scared? Mm -hmm. Because her brother said something that would help her. What did he say back here? Um, come on. <laughs> He said, come on, didn't he? He told her, come on, Emma, you can do it. He was being encouraging, wasn't he? Yeah. And she did it.